Okay, so some exciting news with iPad users out there or if you've got a smart controller. Uh, iOS 17 now, make sure you update to 17 or newer. This is on iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Must have the USB-C connector on your iPad or this won't work. They've now added external monitor support for iPads so you can actually HDMI in to the iPad. So to do that, you're gonna need a USB-C, HDMI capture card, this is a regular HDMI. This one does 60 hertz, 4K in, 1080 out. Plug that into your iPad. And then you'll need a mini to regular HDMI cable. Uh, mini going into the side on the smart controller and regular HDMI going into your capture card. So then you need an app to capture this. There's two of them out there that I tried. Viz Vizic, I think is this one. Uh, it does okay. It seems to do pop it up there. There's not really any settings that you can do though. Um, so the other one that I like better is Capturino. And Capturino gives you some different settings. If you purchase the regular version of this, I think it's 10 bucks a year or something, you can actually record on the screen on here too. So um, different resolutions, you can stretch this, shrink this, squish, whatever you wanna do with it there. But there's what full screen looks like. If you're in the Pilot app, a couple things to look at here. So first go into your settings. And you've got display, HDMI, HDMI resolution. So if you're not getting a really good picture, you can go in here and set these. I've got mine on 1920 by 1080 by 60, which this supports. And go back over to Pilot app. Here's what you would normally get on this. So right now you've got different settings. You can do just the camera out or you can go and do a couple other things. So you need to go into the HD list on the dot, dot, dot in the top right there. And this setting, video output type, you do camera view or duplicate screen. So now what you'll see is the exact same thing. Whatever I have on the controller goes up on the screen. Whatever camera we switch to there. There's a little bit of latency. Overall, it's pretty fast though. I'm happy with it. Um, then you can also go over and do camera view, duplicate screen to camera view instead. So now what will happen is I can actually click the map up on my controller and I still have the regular video up on the monitor. So you can switch through as long as you got some hotkeys on there, whatever camera view you want to use. So uh, with the right tablet bracket, which I'll put a link to that down at the bottom somewhere, you can actually mount the tablet on your controller, use the controller for map and that for the camera view. Now one other way to do this um, that I tested out as well, so if we pull the HDMI cable out of here and take the HDMI out of the equation, you can also take a USB-C to HDMI out adapter. So plug the USB-C into the smart controller and then the HDMI out into the HDMI capture. And you get those two plugged together and same thing happens there. So I did also test this out in drone sense just to see what it would do over there as well. So let's kill these both out. Drone sense, you can end up getting a uh, screen mirror, but you can't get the separate settings for the external monitor on there. So I'll cover that up for you real quick so you don't know what that is. Do a training flight here, join that mission. So you can see it's a, a direct screen mirror, whatever you have on your controller there. But no separate monitor settings that I could find anywhere in these menus over here. So if the Drone Sense guys want to chime in, maybe uh, you might know something different. But iOS 17 gets you a USB-C capture device, and you can do USB-C with RC Pro. I don't know about the, the other ones out there, but... We've been waiting a while to get an external monitor use for the iPad and Apple actually listened this time. They asked me to test and see if a USB webcam 
would work. So here's your webcam plugged into. This is just a USB dongle. It's got HDMI, a couple USB-Cs, card reader, whatnot. Plug that into here. USB-C into the iPad. Same app, Capturino. And there is the camera. So I don't know what purpose that would serve, but you could potentially use a camera, USB camera, on your iPad.